Pete Leeson here on AM 1450 Kate Radio. Today we have a special guest, Ken Wisniewski with Webamax. And Ken is here to talk today about the new social media service, Ello, as it tries to go up against some other companies like Twitter and Facebook. How are you doing today, Ken? I'm doing great, Pete. How are you? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Um, so your opinion on the new website, Ello, uh, as it's starting to roll out, it is an invitation-only social media network currently uh, not a whole lot of people are on it at the moment um, but your opinion on this new website is that it won't have what it takes to overtake uh, Facebook Twitter and some of the more established social media websites currently correct no absolutely I think that uh, basically Facebook really has so much of a foothold currently not only just in the landscape of uh, ultimately uh, kind of social media but just kind of in general in uh, kind of our personal lives that Facebook is so ingrained, I think it's going to be difficult for a company like Ello to really be able to gain market share and become something that's actually viable. And have you currently uh, been on Ello itself to see kind of what some of the differences would be uh, versus Ello and Facebook and some of the other sites? Sure. I've taken a look at it and kind of gotten a, a little bit ingrained with kind of what's going on. And, you know, their platform is that it's going to be ultimately an ad-free social media platform. So they're, they're kind of looking to endear itself to people that are going to come on and don't want to be uh, somewhat overrun with the ads that Facebook's really started to integrate. And uh, obviously people are interested in that, but it just seems that so much is already taking place on Facebook. I think it's going to be difficult for them to really be able to get people to switch from posting on Facebook and switch over to Ella. Yeah, and part of the problem seems like with the initial uh, introduction of the program itself uh, that you do need an invitation. It's not something that you could get, you know, three or four of your close friends to join uh, so that, the you know, four or five of you could test that yourself. The invitation only uh, kind of helps hinder that initial jump start uh, that even, you know, Google plus tried you know what was that five or six years ago now uh, and that kind of stifled what i think could possibly be you know another op option available yeah uh again i think their notion is to kind of make it seem somewhat of a uh, of a different process ultimately to be able to kind of get people ingrained and maybe with sometimes people feel that invitation only is a little bit more of a of a kind of a status type scenario to be able to ingrain but when you're looking to be able to move the volume and the critical mass of people that are already on Facebook, um, not sure that that's going to really scare Facebook to any degree that they're going to be able to move enough people away from their platform onto their platform. Yeah, and do you think that, you know, eventually down the line that this could be you know, maybe a third or fourth option for people who don't want to be on Facebook but still want to stay in contact with their friends and family? Or do you think it's just kind of going to fall away to the wayside if they don't get enough people uh, and it won't be a viable option for them? Uh, a few years ago, uh, I did a lot of conversation about a, a company that was uh, looking to overtake Google, and their focus was around, you know, really not much uh, ad, you know, really ads out in people's uh, kind of view and, you know, kind of the same platform. The company was called DuckDuckGo. And, um, you know, we're, we're not even probably two years away from when they were kind of getting this attention that Ella is getting right now. And they really haven't really grown to any great degree. And, you know, Google continues to dominate that market. I think probably if we fast forward uh, a year from now, um, people, you know, maybe if prompted would remember Ella. But it's certainly not going to be anything that's really uh, any, to any great degree, something that really impacts uh, to, any, to any large degree kind of where people are utilizing social media. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Ken. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, always trying to get information out to the people on the newest trends when it comes to social media uh, and various ways to stay in touch with friends and family. So, Ken, uh, that was Ken Wisniewski with Webamax. And, Ken, thank you very much. Thanks, Pete. Thanks for the time.